Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove a Chrome extension from your browser. This is something that I get asked more often than you might expect. In the upper right hand corner of my Chrome ex browser, you'll see I have some extensions up here. Now, there's some that I've installed just to try out and I've actually forgotten that they're up there. Like, you know, this one here, maybe I'll just remove that one. Let's right click and remove it from Chrome. You can see I can also hide from the menu as well, but I want to actually remove it as in uninstall it. So let's remove it. Now, from that same menu, I could have just hidden something. Maybe it's something that I don't use very often or I just don't need displayed all the time. So I'll just hide it in the Chrome menu and now it's gone. Now you may have some extensions that you're using uh, that don't show up here and you want to manage those. So go to your menu just to the right of your profile and we'll go in here and let's take a look at our settings. And here in the settings we'll manage some of our other extensions that we may have running in the background or things we've kind of just forgotten about over time. So let's take a look at what we have here. So you see I'm in my Chrome settings. You can just go to Chrome dash settings instead of using that menu in the upper right hand corner if you want to. Let's go to our extensions. We'll see all the extensions that we have. You can see here I have a whole lot that are in the Chrome browser that I may or may not actually use all that often. Like Auto Text Expander for Google Chrome. I used to use that one a lot before Google added predictive text into Gmail okay? and canned responses into Gmail. So maybe I don't need that one anymore. Let's go ahead and remove it. And boom. Now it's removed entirely. And I can do the same thing with anything else that I have in here. You'll see uh, this extension may have been corrupted. Eh, let's Let's remove that one. Get rid of it. You can see all the others that I have in there as well. Let's try the repair button on that one. The repair button and see if it works for me now. It does. So that's how you can manage the extensions in your Chrome browser. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.